I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey. Hello. Well, we just had a major decision in our Breath of the Wild Zelda lives. God damn it, you know, Bo. <laughs> Hey brother, thanks so much for appeasing Rudania, Goro! Don't exactly know what you were doing, Rudania, but well, it seems <laughs> I've come down, Goro! You know, while I was up there, I could've sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top uh. of Rudania. You didn't happen to talk to him, did you? Or did you have a conversation? Did he say anything about me? Did he say he loves me? Please tell, tell me he loved me. I'm not explaining it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now, Garo. Oh, that's right. I talked to Boss about you and he said to bring you to him! An order from boss. boss can't re refuse. Move it, Goro. Bo Hugo Boss. Oh, they make great suits. Well, we tried to find one and we couldn't. That's true. Try to find it, and then I was I saw this pink suit and I was like, Oh, that that'll be great. It's Armani. And Susie was like, Oh, it's Armani. Hmm. And I was like, What What's about Armani? And she was like, They're very expensive. And I was like, Oh yeah. And I walked up to it. It was thirteen hundred dollars yeah, for just just the for the jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, "That actually is less than I thought it would be," <laughs> which is crazy. I mean, I like I just don't understand what would be in a jacket that would make it that much. Straight money. gold. So, yeah, yeah. Diamond encrusted cuffs. Kanye West peed on it. <gasps> hey, it's you. You know who told me everything. You really are something else, brother, you know that? I am not your brother. Can't believe you conquered Rudania. Color me impressed. And, uh, which- which Crayola is- is impressed? <laughs> is it macaroni and cheese? Is it- But good grief! Did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? I was already in rare to go to Rudania my- oh yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, now that you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time, imagine that! Me! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, Oh, I'm also happy to see you, Nobu, finally get his act together, and I, I know that's your doing as well. But enough back padding and other such nonsense. Take a look at this! It's my weirdly <laughs> shaped <Whoop>. apex forehead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the beast is calmed down. Well, I wouldn't- uh, calm down is a misnomer, yeah, I think. He's barfing a laser. He, he's, he definitely opened up his face. Yeah. And now it's a crazy, Creepy. dangerous, laser-shooting lotus flower. flower. Yeah, yeah. Now we can go back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. <laughs> we'll all be scared, generally, but, uh, we can do it. Yep. Still gotta thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> There's some treasure in you my house. He's brother a lot, like... <laughs> Is he like, uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan? Hogan? yeah. He's like... Thanks a lot, brother! Well, isn't that, um... Isn't part of the reason- shit. I remember reading this somewhere, like, some kind of psychology book, but... Who knows what the fucking accuracy of it is, but like little things in language, like the reason guys say like bro and man and like a reason a lot of that is in the lexicon is to like let other guys know that they're not gay, you know? Really? Yeah, well, I mean shit, I don't know if that's true or not, but I guess it would make sense. Um, cause it, if you're like, hey bro, it kind of does like establish what kind of like, Ooh. you know, relationship you you want with the person, you know? Um... Not like necessarily an, like an arm's length thing, but like not a... Not a sexy thing. Whereas, if you were like... Hello, Aaron. You know, that could mean anything. Yeah. Or, hello, potential fuck buddy. Yeah. Hello, ass with human attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hole. Yeah. How so, are you? <laughs> so I guess... I guess maybe just that guy is... Really trying to get it across, like, I'm not gay! Not gonna fuck you, brother. I'm not gay. It's not happening. Please don't think I'm gay, because I'm not. Oh, now, if you'll you did it! Excuse me. Look at, the, look at all four of them! Oh, yeah. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, the lizard's just kind of... They're just kind of floating. Skitter-scattering like, in the air. Yeah. He's not crawling along the ground or anything. That's cool. Gosh, they are cute. They're all friends. I love them. I feel like the elephant's trying to poke the lizard in the ass. God, remember when it was just Robot Humpy Camel? We have come a long way in this It was game. just Robot Humpy Camel. <gasps> Ugh, progression has been made. The Woodland Tower. I feel like this is the fastest I've beaten any Zelda. Well... I think- I think it's probably on par with <coughs> the other ones, it's just that like... Because we've been doing 15 minute episodes, it's less episodes. But oh. it's probably like the same amount of time. Shit, you're right. Yeah. Two episodes is actually three episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, if this was like 60, it's really more like kind of 90. 
Wow, you're yeah. right. Ain't that some well, shit? Well, when you're right, you're right. Huh, and it's me, gonna feel weird going back to like ten, ep ten minute episodes. It'll feel great on my fucking voice. True. Oh, my military throat. training camp. Hell yeah! Where where do I sign up for that? <laughs> that sounds like fun this and kicks not ass. At all traumatizing and shitty. Fucking, I want to be a better military. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Ah. Uh. Oh, it just shows up when I shield. Look at that. By the way, let me just say, anyone who is in the military, you guys are brave as fuck, and I greatly appreciate you. That goes without saying, bro. I'm just saying that I am way too much of a pussy. Although, I guess it varies from person to person, but you know, like, I grew up always- <laughs> I guess it varies from pussy to pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I always grew up, um, you know, people would be like, you know, whenever you see a-, a Somebody in the military, thank them for their service. I'm like, you got it. Yep. And so I do that. But then, now, I know several, uh, military people, and a lot of them are like, Yeah, I hate that. Don't really? do that, please. Really? So I'm like, ah, oh, now I'm torn. <laughs> I, I want to, but also, I, I don't know if they like it or not. Why do they hate it? Just cause, I don't know, they hear it all the time. It makes them feel and, awkward. And they're, and they're just like, I'm just here to have a drink, man. <laughs> That's a good point. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh no. It's getting away! I could butter that apple! <laughs> I mean, I guess it's meant with positive intention, so why not? Ah, oh, dude. Mo mo most annoying things are meant with positive intention. That is very true. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, if, if you're, you're in if the you're military, military, tell us what you think. If you're in the military, like, comment, and subscribe, please. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for your and service. And thank you for your service. <laughs> Uh, tell, tell us what you think in the comments below, or also, on the subreddit or yeah. whatever. And also, waiters. Thank you for your service. And also, servicemen. Yeah. Thank you for your waiting. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, prostitutes. Oh, thank you for thank your you service. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. Thank you most of all, Scarecrow. Um... Uh... Yeah. Kayak.com. Thank you for your service. Yup. <laughs> Tennis players, thank you for your service. <laughs> the guy who says, survey says! Thank you for your service. Thank you for your surveys. <laughs> Census people, thank you for your surveys. Yeah. Uh... Um, but ladies, generally... Th thank you. <laughs> thank you for your cervix. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. I should have said gynecologist. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Donald Viss, who was knighted by the Queen. Oh. Thank you for your service. Yeah, you're going a long way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh can, can, boy. Will you die if you fall in that water? Probably. It seems pretty goopy and tar-like. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that, man. It's like when a new car dealership opens up. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate that shit, man. Like when they, when they put like those gigantic like spotlights in the sky. Um, I mean, I don't know if they did that where you're from. Oh, that poor goat! It's like running right towards you. Oh, it's dead. No, it's, it's gonna right. give me chilled meat. Oh, um, I see meat. <laughs> I see meat. It's right there. You see meat. <laughs> I see meat. <laughs> I'm starting to get the giggles, dude. <laughs> Uh, Look whoa, what's boars. that? It's a boar. Oh, alright. And these are wolves. <laughs> they will uh, die by my hand. No, the whole pack? The whole pack. <laughs> yeah! Baru? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Baru! Oh, you only got two of them. Run away from the bombs, run away. Not so tough, not so tough. <laughs> um... I'm like a walking war machine, dude. Oh yeah, so like when they'd open a new car dealership in New Jersey, they would uh... Like put giant moving spotlights into the sky. Like, oh with sure. Very powerful like spotlights. I think that's anywhere. I man. guess they probably do that everywhere. Yeah. But, God, man, it was so annoying because I'd be like, Oh, cool. What what cool thing is happening? And then you get there and it's like, Oh, a new Nissan. Fucking. <laughs> that being said, I love my 2014 Nissan Murano. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that was like so sensible when you were like, I can afford to buy a car. And then you bought a car and I was like, man, what's he going to get? And then you just got a fucking SUV. And I was like, oh. Oh, well, I I need something that'll like fit my giant grasshopper legs. Oh, like, yeah. Small cars are like painful for me to sit in. Well, you know, what's interesting is is my my little mini roadster. Mm hmm. It has the most headroom of any car I've ever driven. Oh god, I've never gotten head in it, but there's always time. Okay, Can well... Can I borrow your Roadster? Yes. And it, no, it was it was just my first car that I'd ever had. Like, that wasn't like a hand-me-down from my dad. Um... Or, or like a used car that I bought for like 3,000 bucks and it was in the process of dying at all times. Um, and I, uh... I just, I just remember, because my dad had, like, the same car, essentially, just an earlier model, like, by a year. Right. And I loved it. Like, whenever I'd borrow it, I was like, oh, God, my, my legs feel so good in this, I like the way it drives. And then, like, for me, like, I mean, you know, you know how our lives are, like, our biggest enemy is time. Mm hmm So, I was just like, let me just get the same thing my dad got. My and, dad. My dad. And, oh, jeez, that poor dog. Yeah. And, uh... Raw meat. <laughs> I just see meat when yeah. I look at animals. And let me tell you something. I never... I never miss a chance to let my dad know that I have the exact same car as him, except one year superior <laughs> model. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know, man. I mean, there, there's, like, weird years where they're, like... It goes down. The 2013 quality. one is great, and then the 2014 one is, like... Oh, the carburetor doesn't carburate. Uh, it, it, this one explodes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the 2013, it, except it blows up. Every time you close the door and start the car, it goes, You're an idiot. I've, I love that story you told. With your, your Dodge Intrepid. Where you how, were like, how it exploded? That car exploded. <laughs> <laughs> it did, though. How? Like, to what degree? It caught on fire. But, but not, that's what I mean, like, it just caught on fire, it wasn't an actual, like, I mean, it, it got engulfed in fl flames pretty fast. Yeah, cars do that. Well, that, that was what was so scary about it, I don't know if I mentioned it in the story that I told, but... I think we were laughing too hard. Uh... It was, um, it, it was actually pretty scary, because... The brakes went out. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't know it was on fire at the time, it was still driving. Um, apparently some kind of smoldering mass fell off of my car as mm. I was driving. Delicious. Um, whoa. I wonder why my Master Sword powered up. It's almost like there's a giant enemy around somewhere that could... that could take me out at any moment's notice. Could be. Oh, I guess... It's not gonna bother me. Oh, well, alright then. Fuck. Really? Hmm. Um... So yeah, so it... I got out of the car. Susie was still in the car. I was like, what's wrong with the car? Um, and, uh, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Human shield, go! He's like, ah. Ha ha! Nicely done. Yeah, I'm a fucking master at man, this shit, man. you're way better now. Well, that one was... I got a little help mm, there. Yeah, a little... Mm, that was kinda iffy. Still love you though. Oh shit. Okay, your steel lies your shield broke. I'm do. sort of loving you less. Whoa, you got a lot of cool looking shields now. Yeah, I know. Eh. Damn it. Dude. Wow, that broke my shield immediately. You, you had a lot of cool looking shields. No, not the one you're gonna put in your house. Got him. Alright, well. Um So I got out of the car. Yes. I found out that the car was on fire. Um I was like, okie doke. So, I was like, Susie, get out of the car. Uh, I had a look, apparently I had a look on my face, like, death. And Whoa. she was like, no questions asked, she was like, yes. Okay. And got out of the car, and like, a moment later, the tire on her side popped. Whoa. Which lowered the car down so that the, the door wouldn't open. Oh, shit. Um, so it was like, it was like minutes from... Just in time. Susie being in a fiery car. I mean, she could have... You know, gone over to the other side, and, yeah, but, but that would have been in like an extra ten seconds or so, and of awkward. And there would have been fire in the car at that point because yeah, oh. it was spreading very quickly. That's super scary. Yeah. 
I mean, there is the, that car, the Pinto, which was known for exploding. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because the, the gas was right next to the, the yeah, ignition or the something. The manufacturers like that. had what we refer to in the car business as an oopsie, <laughs> an oopsie daisy, an oopsie poopsies, and uh, yeah, they built a car that explodes. <laughs> That but being it was great said, for movies. Oh, I would love, yeah, Lethal Weapon. That was the best. Lethal Weapon, I think, those were the best movies for uh, unnecessary explosions. Was it? Yeah, dude. I mean, like, wasn't that the movie that started the whole like jumping away from an explosion trend? Like walking away and putting on sunglasses and shit. Was that Lethal Weapon? I don't know. I thought it was that like doing the jump where you're like, whoa, and I then mean, it's slow mo. There was definitely plenty of that, like. But I mean, like, it's like a... a plane, like, that's, like, drifting, like, on the ground towards a mountain, and it's like, tink, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I'd never seen a single Lethal Weapon all the way through. I- I used to like them. I really should. I've seen all the diehards, except for the new one? Yeah, that or one. The new two. I saw the fourth one with Justin Long. Um, which was like, not great, but it wasn't bad. It's certainly not like, I mean, three was like the worst of the, well, actually, people don't like two. <laughs> One now, was now the worst. Now that I think about it, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> movies are terrible. Um, I, you know what, I, I, I loved, I love Die Hard, but like I- Yeah, I love all of them. Yeah. I, I, I've seen the fourth one a bunch. The Lethal Weapon movies are good too, but like, I don't know, I- I, you, you know me. M Mel Gibson has kind of been my arch nemesis for like ten years now. Though I have been told that quietly, like, he's like reached out to Jewish groups and like, been like, trying to be cool and being like, just apologizing and- if that is the case, then I would be happy to, uh, bury the hatchet. He didn't apologize to you. He didn't apologize to me, but you know what? He didn't, uh, insult me directly either. <laughs> he just insulted my people. Um, mm. and, uh... Seems like you're, uh... Seems like you're apologizing for him. <laughs> are you a Mel Gibson are, are apologist? You, <laughs> well, I don't know. I actually don't know if he, he's, he has been cooler, if that's just a rumor. But if he has, I, like... I- I don't- I don't hold grudges if they're not necessary. You know what they say about rumors. It was a good album by Fleetwood Mac. They cause tumors. They- no one says that, Aaron. Next time on Game Grumps. Okay, I mean... People say that. Mostly you and me. My day is it! <laughs> my, my day- My day! My dad has a 2013 Nissan Murano. My day! <laughs> My dad gave it to me. <laughs>